notorious hooligan Big Mike invited us to watch while he and his crew chop a stock motorcycle. Big Mike and Clay have already stretched and raked the front end. Now it's back to the fab shop where Big Mike and Vac will take on the handlebars. So what did I say, 11 and a half? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do, bring this down so you can get your right length on it. We're gonna go like five and a half. I made a little block that's got 30 degrees on it. It'll give us a 30 degree tip. So off the straight bar, the bars will come back so that your hands aren't all tweaked out weird. So get that set up, your 30 degrees, get a mark back there, and go ahead and cut it. Let's go over that again. To make the Z-bars sweep back properly, Vac makes the first cut at 45 degrees, then rolls the pipe forward onto a 30 degree jig before making the second cut. I just didn't think you were that smart, but that's cool. I try. That makes it easy for us. No helmet grinding. All right, so I think if we put them on the bike, you can tack them where you think it looks good. Then we'll pull them back off, we'll clean it up, and I'll take it all together so they're good and strong. We can clean them up and make them look like one piece. Yeah, that looks good. That's, gonna, right. that's a nice fit there, too. And no, we, they came out really good. We actually have a Z. Just playing around. That was the idea. So cool though, the bars. Yeah. Give the bike such a good look. Uh, well, it'll give that old school yeah. kind of Well, you're nostalgic. the master at welding, so. Now that we got all our parts cut back, we can get these on here and uh, center these, which will be good. That's a good job. Justin did a good job. This is the fun part, huh? Yeah, that's where you start seeing what you got. Such a cool handlebar. Didn't your dad teach you about these in the 70s? When I was a little whippersnapper? Yeah. yeah. I think there's a cool picture of you somewhere around. Little did he know, someday I'd actually yeah. know what I was doing. Go ahead and grab our riser part. Let's see how sure that goes. Centered. Yeah, let's make sure that's all centered. Three there. Get this going. And I'm going to hold these. Yeah, if you want to grab your stuff. Yeah, we're good to go. So yeah. that'll hold it good. Give it a tack on that corner. Cool. That'll work. Okay, cool. So we have that. That's looking good. There's a thousand gloves in there. Oh, I found it. Hey, 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 shut hand. up. I found it. <laughs> yeah, doesn't fit. I didn't do it, I swear. I use that one for welding other stuff. I Jesus. use that just to keep my hand from getting burned. Like I did? With that 30 degrees, yeah. we should be good to oh, just that looks tack great. this again. Yeah. We'll get both of them up there. You can sit on it, and if it doesn't line up good, we'll break it off. Yeah. Go okay. Again. That looks great. That looks good right there. Go ahead and give it a hit. Cool. I know they got the same Thank angle. Thank God I so. have you in my corner. Well, you know. You always amazing. make me look good, though. That's right. A little more. That's good. Yeah. I think you're good. How's that looking? Let me put go ahead and sit on it. Right on. This I is think the part. as far as Z bars this go. This is the part I like. Those are going to be about oh, yeah. as original and old looking as you can That's get. That's great, Vac. Vacaray School of Fabrication 101. We have Z bars. All right, cool. Get them to the bench. Right on. Thank you.